All right, first things first, let's quickly go ahead and take a look at the deck. I called it the ABC challenge, I decided to go with the Druid. I'm going to quickly talk about the deck, I'm going to talk about um, probably each, each letter of uh, the cards that I picked. If you want to skip that, please feel free to click the link, it'll be somewhere on the screen right now. Um, but for those of you who are staying, uh, good, good for you I guess. Uh, so basically, I'm just I'm just gonna rush through this uh, so that you wouldn't sit here for too long. Uh, for the letter A, I had a pretty tough choice, but I decided to stick to um, Azure Drake because it does allow us to draw. It is the card that uh, Druids run, and I can't seem to find it with uh, my eyes right now. Yeah, there it is. There it is. My apologies there. Um, I didn't want to pick Ancient of Lore, I didn't want to pick Antique Hillbot because, uh, I mean, those cards are uh, pretty good in Druid, but, you know, I, I wanted to make a fun deck, I wanted to make a fun deck. That's, um, on to my next point, you will see for B, you have Baron Riven there, right? With, uh, Synergy with Death Rattles. I could pick BGH, but I honestly didn't want to, I also had good choices like, uh, like, uh, Bomb Lover, for example. I didn't want to pick that, but I wanted to have a Synergy with this. And you will, you will see why I picked it in a second. Uh, for letter C, I decided to go with Chromagus because Chromagus, obviously, it's a, it's a new card, it's a fun card. I picked it over Scenarius and I also could have picked Yeti uh, for some more early game, but I decided to stick with other minions um, and I'll talk to, to about them in a bit. For D, you would expect for me to pick Dr. Boom, but no, I wouldn't go that road. Obviously, I did uh, want to. It's, it's a choice that my head says make. But um, my conscience says pick Druid of the Claw instead, it's a decent card altogether and uh, I think we'll be just fine without Dr. Boom. Uh, it's Dr. Bounce. Yeah, anyway, um, for the letter E, I, decide, uh, I had a choice obviously to go with Elite, uh, Turn Elite Torrent Chieftain, but I decided to go with Emperor because it, we do have a lot of heavy drops, a lot of um, mid-game here and uh, Emperor fits in with the deck, uh, you will see him right here. Uh, for F, obviously, Fugan. I really wanted that synergy with uh, with Baron Devin there. We'll see what we can we can accomplish here, but that's why Baron Devin there is there. And obviously Stalag, I'll uh, talk about him in a bit. Uh, for H, I could have picked Harvest Golem for the synergy with uh, Baron Riven there, but I decided not to. I decided to go with Harrison because there are a lot of um, Green Patron Warriors around, and th this is a pretty pretty good card that we can utilize to our advantage. Uh, for I, I decided to go with Innervate, even though I could have picked um, Iron B. Cowl or Iron Bark or Injured Blade. I decided to go with Innervate because we're playing as Druid, and uh, what kind of Druid is it without Innervate? Especially when we have a high amount of. Mm, Late game. Let's call it late game. Uh, for G, I, I could have uh, picked many things, but I decided the deck needed some draw, and obviously Gnomish Inventor is here, um, or is it pronounced Gnomish? I'm not quite sure. I could have went with Growth Tender for a card draw, but I don't, don't really want to give my opponent card draw. Uh, my thinking was, if I run into a, an aggressive opponent, this will uh, be to my disadvantage. Uh, for the letter K, I had actually a pretty tough pick. I picked Kelfu over Keeper of the Grove. I could have also went with Kizan Mystic or Nav Juggler, uh, but I decided to go with Kelfu, obviously because it does allow us to have Death Rattle synergy uh, with Pilot Shredder, for example, um, or in a future turn. It's a, it's a good card in general, and it's one of my favorite things to pull off. It, it just makes your opponents concede right away. Uh, for L, I decided to go with Lothab, even though I could have went with Loot Hoarder for some early draw. I could have obviously went with Leroy, um, but I decided not to because, I mean, this is not a rush deck, definitely not a rush deck. And uh, it's, I could have went with Lepernome as well, but I didn't really see the need for having a one drop. And we'll get to having a one drop in a minute. Um, for the letter M, I decided to go, uh, what did I finally pick? Because I have uh, something written down here, but I don't think that's um, that's the case. I decided to go with Mountain Jam because I did imagine uh, me drawing a lot of cards. I do have uh, some card draw and I do have a lot of heavy uh, late games. So I will draw into Mountain Giant eventually, hopefully, and I will drop him for definitely less than, I don't know, 8 to 10 mana. Uh, that's at least my wishful thinking. Uh, if things don't go so well, I could definitely replace him. There are a lot of uh, M-lettered cards that are actually pretty good, like MC Tech 
or like Mech Warper. We don't have much of uh, synergy with mechs, but still. Meg Bear Cat is also good, but we do have a lot of uh, late game. We'll see how things turn out for us in the future. I haven't actually tried this deck. Um, I want you to witness uh, what I'm doing just before I get into it. Mm, so without further ado, okay, let's continue. Uh, Nefarian could have picked it, but honestly, I decided to go with Nourish. Nourish is a good uh, card that can utilize uh, both mechanics of uh, mana, gaining mana crystals and also drawing. It is very um, versatile depending on your situation, obviously you can use it. For O, I really wanted to pick Onyxia, but I decided to pick Ogre Brute because there are four cards that start with O. I, th I thought I had Onyxia, I disenchanted it, and I didn't remember about it, I didn't, didn't keep it in my head. Alright, for Q, we have Questing Adventure. I could have went uh, with nothing else, literally Q. For Q, Questing Adventure is the only common card, uh, well, the only uh, shared card. Uh, for Hunter here of Quickshot and for Pilot here of Quartermaster. Alright, for P, Pilot Shredder, a good pick. I could have went with Power of the Wild, but I decided not to. Uh, for J, by the way, I forgot to mention, we have Jungle pa Panther. It's the only uh, J card that I can actually pick that is uh, good for us. Uh, for T, I decided to go with Twilight Drake, obviously, because we will uh, keep a lot of cards in our hand. And uh, also because I didn't want to pick Tree of Life because we have a lot of late game. And uh, yeah, it would suck. Uh, picking Black Knight, the, it's called the Black Knight, but obviously uh, the first letter is, the first character is T, so I assume it starts with T. I didn't want to pick it because um, taunts are not really a big issue for a control deck, and uh, in, in this situation I didn't really want to. For you, I could have picked Unstable Ghoul or Undertaker, I decided to go with Undertaker because of Death Rattle synergy. For V, I went with uh, Violet Teacher, even though we don't have a lot of spells. It's much better than picking a Volcanic Drake or a Lumber or something like that. Venture Call obviously would completely screw us over because we are in the late spe late game spectrum here. Uh, for W, I decided to go with Wrath uh, because it's a good uh, early game removal. It, uh, this game does lack a lot of early game, and I hopefully will I will Mulligan Heart for one or two drops because we have very few of them. Uh, for you, for Y, there are no X cards by the way, for Y I decided to go with Youthful Brewmaster, uh, it's a card that I like, it's a card that I'm going to use. For, Zo for Z, there's only one card, Zombie Alright, I'm um, sorry that this took so long, and uh, for the last five cards, I honestly didn't want to uh, offend anybody, I didn't want to screw you over, I didn't want to pick uh, the cards, because I obviously am aware about all of the cards, I'm aware that I would want to pick uh, some cards of the uh, S letter spectrum that uh, you know would benefit me more in the way and obviously there are 26 letters in the alphabet x is not present so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let it out complete for me i i don't know what cards that it put in uh as it seems it put drill thang naturalize not gonna not gonna do anything with this i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into play mode all right going up against the warrior is something that scares me a lot but Bort, and I did say Bort uh, in a way that I didn't want it to come out. Okay, one, two, one, three, four. Good. Keeping Gnomish, sure, eats up a charge of uh, his weapon. Actually, Gnomish kind of sucks. I do want a two drop. Give me a two drop, please. Violet Teacher is better, it's, it's much better, to be honest, against the warrior, against warriors these days, uh, and welcome back, no machine enter, I do have that tendency, once uh, once, a, once I mulligan a card and I talk about it in, uh, in all ways, it just comes back to me, it's, it's just, you know, that the phrase, come, come to bite me in the ass, that's, that's what's happening there. Uh, okay, that's good, oh, this is excellent, this is so excellent. I don't want to use Violet Teacher yet because I do want to draw into something else. That's a draw. That's excellent. Can't use it now though. Uh, but next turn definitely, I mean, using it for... Uh, what does he have here? Let the pain speak to Let me. the pain speak to you, huh? Interesting. Oh, this is good. You know what? I'll give him two draws. I will... Gladly give him two draws to drop an Azure Drake. Gladly. Gladly. Hey, give me a minute. And I mean, if he uses Execute, be my guest. Honestly. Honestly, be my guest. If he, if he uses Shield Slam Execute, I don't care. Just be my guest. You already burned a coin on 
doing echoing. He can't uh, use death bite yet. And this is excellent. We have we have a good trade. Oh, Harrison! Oh, Harrison is so good. Uh, Violet Teacher doesn't die to anything, and is a good card against the warrior in general. He, if he uses an execute, he will probably use it right now on Violet Teacher. He obviously can use Death by an attack into Azur Drake. He takes forward more damage. And then I have Harrison, right? Shield block. Okay, interesting, interesting. I know Warriors these days run one copy of Bro. Uh, do I have a synergy with Druid of Fang? No. Is he gonna brawl next turn if I put Jungle Panther? You know what? I would rather him brawl right now than have him brawl when I have Kel'Thuzad and loads of shit on the board. Honestly, if you're gonna brawl me, brawl me now. Like, this is the time to brawl me. And, uh... I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually okay how this game is going so far. We do have a week, turn 6 and 7. Um, we'll see... This game can turn around really quickly. I know this much. I'm not playing Druid of the Fang next turn. I'm afraid of brawl. Really, really afraid. Shield slam... You know, that's fine. Uh, in all honesty, should I be afraid of Brawl? I mean, he he can play BGH, and obviously this deals with it pretty well unless he has Whirlwind. If he like he did, he if he had a Brawl, he would have used it, right? Like, why wouldn't he use it? He's getting his shit on, right? If it's a Brawl, you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna wait and see. I'm not gonna attack with my Panther yet. Because the only thing that kills is a double, double Whirlwind. He wouldn't burn double Whirlwind on this. Oh, this is excellent for us. Uh, we'll do this trade here. We'll attack this guy because he just dies to Whirlwind. Uh, putting out Stalag. I mean, sure. I, I'm, I'm not gonna put out Stalag though. I feel so wrong. Like, he didn't do much. Like, it's not much of a challenge when your opponent doesn't do much. Okay, good. Perfect. 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 At least this is so like, there's something. Okay, that's good. That's excellent. At least, at least I do get a draw with Chromagnus, right? Oh... <laughs> no matter how much I want to, I really want to play this game out. And... Like, I really, really want to. Like, you know what? This is all fun. This is all just for fun. And, um... If, if he... Like, I want to give him a chance to play. Because I, like, recording another video for it does really uh, put a toll on my sanity, right? Like, yeah. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh, Twilight Drake, huh? Interesting, interesting. Okay, we'll do this. The, the main reason why I'm playing this true, I want to use Harrison. <laughs> I haven't used him in a while. Um, yeah. We'll play one Twilight Drake. And uh, I don't want to play Stalag yet. Not yet. Not yet. Because it will scare him off. He already used one BGH. We'll see how our deck stands against the Control Warriors deck. It, it could be a Shield Slam turn. But who is he? Sh he obviously will Shield Slam Chromagus. Like, there's no, no question about it. Or Execute. Not even Execute. Oh, interesting, interesting. We'll do this attack. Uh, Stalag, you're coming out. It's your time. It's your time to shine. I want you to uh, explore the depths of this warrior. 
<laughs> okay, we don't have a BGH. Wow, wow. This is some draw. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Hate me for this, but I'm gonna do this. Like, like, look at this. Look at, look at what's going on. This is ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay, alright. Chromagus OP. Death Spike. Yes, we can use our Harrison! Finally, 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 we can use Harrison. Is he gonna attack face? Attack me, at attack my face, I don't care. Oh, double nourish, so kinda sucks. Uh, next turn, he has lethal, right? With, uh... Yeah, he has lethal next turn. Unless I do something here. Um... We'll do this attack. We'll get rid of his weapon so he doesn't have lethal. We have to use our hero power as well so that he doesn't have lethal. Yeah, because I, I'm dead to Enraged plus Cruel Task, right? Enraged Gromash plus Cruel Task. Um, we can draw and see what we draw into. We don't have a heal to draw into, though. Yeah, we definitely have to draw uh, three cards here to see what we get. Because Ancient of Lore... Oh no! I completely forgot about this! Well, quickly play it! Oh no! We burned a ton! Okay, fine. Let's just check if we're dead or not. We're probably dead. We're probably dead. Like, 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 there is probably zero point. 1% chance of us surviving here because he did have uh, he does have still one cruel task he still has gromash it's probably cruel task gromash rag and the axe okay rag don't do this uh hit harrison okay that's fine that's fine <laughs> okay, alright. Um, what we can do? We need to heal. We definitely need to heal. Because we've been taking too much face damage already. Uh, playing Kelthu is something that I want to do as well. Alright. We, 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 are, we are okay for this turn. We're okay for this turn. We can use that. We can Kelthu. Uh, do I want a fresh... Yeah, I want a fresh... Um... Chromagus? And, yeah, I should have played Twilight Drake, but honestly, I want to use Hero Power, so I'm not dead to... Um... Well, I'm, I'm technically dead to him having Cruel Task with, uh, Gromash. Gromash Cruel Task kills me. Right? In Inner Rage as well? <laughs> okay. Okay, second axe. Oh, he's just conceding here. Because he knows. Things aren't going his way. Well, <laughs> this was an extremely fun challenge, man. I, I was having fun. Um, I hope you bros enjoyed this video. Please continue, continue the amazing support. Leave your challenge suggestions in the comment section below. You're awesome. Stay awesome. My name is Russian. You take care now. Bye-bye.